All right, guys, they say April showers bring... May flowers. But maybe they bring May workouts instead, hopefully. Uh, we wanted to shoot a little video to get, give you guys kind of a status update for going into May. Um, let you guys know where we were, let you guys know about some changes in membership options, uh, and give you guys some, some ways you guys can help out with just the community. Some kind of some housekeeping uh, that we're trying to do right now. So the first thing is thank you. Uh, thank you guys for all the outpouring, the notes, the messages, the calls. Uh, people have been buying us dinner on Saturday nights. Most of the gym kept their memberships through April, which is awesome. Uh, we've been super happy with all the support we've gotten from you guys, and it's awesome, and we want to let you guys know thank you very much. You we love you. Yes, we love you. You certainly have made it easier for us to keep our head above the water, and we appreciate that. Um, so as far as the gym goes, uh, current status, we applied for the SBA loan. We applied for the PPP. Uh, we got two grand for the SBA loan, which is not enough to even cover a month's rent, so that money is gone pretty quickly. The PPP we're still in line for, uh, according to my bank, so hopefully within the next uh, couple weeks we'll get approved for that and be in a different category than we are right now. Um, we have both gone on unemployment, so we've been trying to eliminate all excess spending. Um, the gym is pretty much down to rent and utilities, um, and, and for my contractor, uh, contractors, Casey and, and Kenzie, their, their help with the Zoom classes, uh, but pretty much everything else has been eliminated. So. Uh, we need about $3,500 a month just to keep the gym moving for the next couple months uh, without having to shut the doors, uh, which would be sad because April 30th is our eight-year anniversary. Uh, so please, let's make it to nine years, all right? Uh, <laughs> so that being said, uh, we've got some changes in membership options, so it doesn't have to make it awkward uh, if you are in a shitty financial position like many of us are and you need to change up how you do your membership We wanted to give some clear-cut easy ways uh, For you guys to do that you just be able to shoot me an email at Kyle at CrossFitJamesIsland.com if you wanted to change this up Otherwise memberships will run as of May 1st, so make sure you guys shoot me a message if you need to change that uh, Otherwise, you're gonna see it Phil. You might not want to see um, Coach Jenna yeah, so like Kyle said, membership options, we got four options, pretty simple. Um, like you said, the first option is just full price. You don't need to do anything if that's your option. If you guys want to keep that running, you don't need to send an email. You don't need to do anything. That'll just, Kyle will charge you your full price on May 1st. Other options here, you guys do need to make sure you reach out before the first. So way before the first, reach out. Option two, 75%, that's $119.25. Option three is 50%, that's $79.50. And then option four, and 50 cents, sorry. And then option four is 25%, which is $39.75. So all those options, again, like don't make it awkward. Um, not a big deal, just email Kyle um, and let him know before the first of May. Correct. Uh, a couple other things, this will, might take a little bit of ease off of the membership. Um, O2 and Born Primitive, and I keep forgetting to look up the other company's name, have come together and they're giving out a $100 gift certificate to every member that keeps their membership through May. Um, so that's 100 bucks to Born Primitive or O2, and I can't remember the other company, but I'll look it up afterwards. Um, so that's pretty sweet uh, if you keep your memberships. Um, second thing is we've got a survey coming out. We're trying to figure out what it's going to look like when we can open back up, whether or not people are going to come back in whether or not we need to, what well, we will be regulating class sizes. Uh, we purchased a bunch of cleaning equipment, yay, uh, to make sure you guys wipe everything down before and after. We'll have hand sanitizing, uh, foam dispensers, automatic, that'll be going up. So all kinds of ways to stay clean, and we will probably have people exercising outside most of the time if we can. Um, so we are trying to come up with a game plan for how to get it going again. Um, so make sure you guys take that survey and give us some good answers and feedback. Um, other ways to support memberships, obviously if you can stay in the upper range, that's super helpful. But like I said, we understand if you can't. Uh, Driven Nutrition, we've had people pick up protein orders. If you guys can continue ordering through Driven Nutrition or email me what I put out through orders, uh, that's super helpful. We have a t-shirt form that's going out to help support other gyms and friends across the James Island. You guys can fill that out. And I think that's it. Yeah. So thank you guys so much. We really appreciate Zoom it. Classes. Oh, Zoom classes. Yes. Show up to freaking Zoom classes. We have one person there at 5:30 a.m. this 6 morning. 
or 6 a.m. And that's super tough on other people, right? And the coaches. We like seeing your faces. We like making sure that you're continuing to exercise. It makes us not feel like failures. So make sure you guys get on there and you will help out your fellow classmates. Justin Gerber was the only one on there this morning. And the likelihood of Justin Gerber wanting to do that many more times is probably low. So get up. Make sure you get on your Zoom classes. You guys who come in the afternoons, keep showing up. Um, just do it for other people. It's just like COVID. It's not about you. It's about everyone. So make sure you guys get on there and please help us out. Um, I think that's it. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Thank you.